that original 1965 Ford Galaxy. Uh, it's a pretty clean radio. We've repolished everything in it and done a full roller design conversion. Uh, the guy's son is going to pick it up. His dad uh, was uh, intentionally had been the one to send me the radio, so we went ahead and got it done. And uh, full ra full Aurora design conversion. Now this is your front speaker. We replaced it with a DVC. It's got your original bracket on it. Uh, one channel here, one channel here. And then the back speaker, we're using a motto speaker for the right size. So you're gonna reverse the setup. You're gonna run one side of the rear channel plus one side of the other rear channel minus to that speaker there and then you got the dual up here. That way you still pick up your uh, fader balance and all which actually if you're running that set up there fader is all you got to worry about so you can bring the back one up whichever way you want to go and that's it with the roller design you can do that right now you're on FM get a little push button here you that comes with it. It's got AM and FM stereo, four channels out, 45 watts a channel, uh, USB port, you get one of these that come with it, thumb drive comes with it with a video on it, some music. This will also charge your phone and devices. Auxiliary in right above there, you get a mail to mail cord, plug in there, any device you want to put into it. Bluetooth, hand free phone calls, voice command, voice assistant. Uh, this is your mic here. You can run it wherever you want to. It's got plenty of lead on it. Plug it in where it says mic. Uh, sometimes I do put on here, but this one's kind of tight and a rubber deal. It comes through the dash. So we didn't put a built-in mic and we'll let you run this one then, uh, wherever you want to put it. You can hide it, get it close to you that way. Uh, voice assistance, which is real neat in AM radio. You're on FM, you got a little operating LED here, it changes multiple colors, stereo light, LED, original background light. Anytime you want to know where you're at, all you got to just take that little push button, which you can hide in the, in the cigarette lighter or underneath the lip of the dash, and just press it. FM 92.5. It's called Voice ID. It'll do it on any of them. We have your presets set up. Love has made many. So you can use them. Go to AM radio, just turn the unit off and right back on. McNair AM radio. Sat down with the quarterback and said, I like you, I want to hear from you. AM 670. However, you need to understand. AM 650. I'm going to redo my antenna, it ain't too slow up right now. Off and right back on, takes you right back to FM stereo. The night, the night your... You've got RCAs on there if you want to plug up a sub. And a lot of people think a sub is for boom, boom, boom and rattle your windows, it ain't. It's to let these speakers do what they're supposed to do. The sub takes care of the mids and the lows. So you can get a good quality sound. Voice ID by pushing this. This push button does a whole lot of stuff I'm gonna show you during this demonstration. Uh, if you want to go to scan while you're going down the road, you can let this radio find your station while you're going down the road. You can tap this four quick times to go into scanning mode, or you can take the uh, tuning knob and turn it up twice. Scanning for stations. Now it's gonna start scanning for stations without the needle moving. And I'm gonna show you how to lock on a station and how to actually even find it on your dial in case you want to preset it. We're going to do that. At any time during the stand, you want to know what station you're on. Say it goes to the next station, you want to know if you get close. Press it. It'll tell you which one's FM 90.7. So you go to the next station, press it again. You might be looking for a certain radio station. FM 91.1 So when it jumps on one more 
say you like that station there, take that and turn it once. Station hold. She'll lock on. As soon as she says that, you can start moving it. It'll go quiet and you find it. There it is. Pull out a preset, preset it. There it is. Right back to it. That's how you do your uh, scanning. Anytime during the scanning, if you want to cancel it, just turn the needle back the opposite direction. Alright, that's your scanning auxiliary end. You'll get a male to male cord like this. All you do is just plug it in here, pull it out of your glove box if that's where you want to keep it. Somebody might get in your car and want to hear something. Now, the newer phones don't have a headphone out jack. You can get these on eBay or from your phone store. That gives you a charger port and a headphone out jack. Cause I got a new phone, they don't have one. They, so they say something else. Go to Auxiliary Inn and go to music, hit play. There's a whole lot of pride in this life. And you notice a little light's gone to green, that means Auxiliary Inn. Now all you gotta do, you wanna go back to radio, whatever device, satellite radio, XM radio, CD changers, anything you wanna plug into it. If you wait 20 minutes, it'll automatically switch back by itself. If you wanna go a little quicker during that 20 seconds, turn it off and back on. It remembers you was on FM. We're gonna let it automatically change back. You don't even have to unplug it. We're gonna move on. Though. Change back to where I had it, FM. All right. Now, uh, we're going to go into fader. Since you're going to be running this speaker set up and maybe maybe a sub, all you really need to worry about is fader because your balance, your single model speaker in the back, the dual in the front. One way to get to your fader is through the push button or here. Let's do it both ways. Wide open treble, wide open bass. All you do is back it up a couple of turns. You don't have to, it's just easier. One quick push and hold. Gator adjust. Go back to your toner control. There's your rear. There's your front. Now that dead air that you're hearing, that little pop. That means that's the center of that pot. That'll be balanced out. Let's balance it. Way FM. I'm Let her set it by stopping. Gator set. Back on treble and bass. Again, so go ahead. You, you can do it either way. You can back this up Walton and go Dixon. clockwise twice. One, two. Peter, adjust. Same way. Every day moving so fast. Taking all the wrong ways out. Never saw you coming. Peter, set. They rock. Right. We want to stay right there. There we go. That's my favorite station. Anyhow, that's how your fader works. Your balance, I wouldn't worry about because this one's so close together as stereo, you'd be fine with your balance. Balance is counterclockwise, or two quick pushes and a hold here. Now this thing has a built-in loudness and a built-in EQ, which is real neat. It takes a lot to do it. It's easy to do with a push button. Then again, take your toner back a little bit. Let's go into loudness first by going three quick taps. One, two, three, and hold. Loudness off. EQ off. Do it one more time. Loudness on. There's our loudness. Let's turn our EQ off. EQ on. Now, you have individual setups. You can set your treble up, mids up, bass up, loudness, a subwoofer, and a, you have a crossover built in it. I've already set this one up, but we're gonna go into it. Alright, toner control, back it up just a little bit. Hold this down again, one, two, three, hold. EQ on. Clockwise move. EQ adjust. Clockwise. Treble adjust plus 8 dB. Now we set our treble up for our EQ. You can hear the difference. Stop, she 
Hill City. Treble set plus six. Clockwise move. Treble adjust. One more time. Mid adjust plus four dB. Stop moves. Hill City. Mid set plus five dB. Clockwise move. Mid clockwise again. Base Going to base. Just zero dB. Let her set it. Base set plus four dB. Clockwise move. Balance clockwise. Balance set. I wasn't looking for that one. One. Base adjust. There's my base. Four dB. All right, let's go back to where we was at. Base. Set our base up. Jack and Jill went up the Stop. Let her set it. Base set plus three dB. Clockwise. There it just base adjust. Clockwise. Plus loudness. Now we adjust. set our loudness plus up. Twelve dB. But when we turn it on, we set it where we want it. All right, let her set it. Loudness set plus 10. Clockwise. DB. Loudness. Clockwise. Plus Subwoofer. Adjust plus 8 dB. So if you got one plugged in, you can set it up. There's less. More. Subwoofer set plus 3 Now we're going to set our crossover. Clockwise. Adjust. Clockwise. Crossover. Adjust. There's a crossover. One, 60 hertz. That's kind of a flat. Crossover set. 160 hertz. Now that's your full menu on your EQ. Now we're back on treble and bass. And she's got it set, but she's going to come on there later and verify it. So it gives you a chance to get back in and adjust something else if you want to. Now you can turn it off and turn it back on, whichever way you like to go. And I'll show you the difference. EQ set. All right, now we're completely out of it. Now let's turn it off. I'm going to then use this this time and do this and do the same thing. One, two, three. EQ on. One, two, three. Loudness off. EQ off. Now we're back to normal. You can tell the difference in it. It makes a big difference. So you can play with that and set it up and turn it on and off whichever way you like to or just leave it alone and let the radio play. But once you get it set, it's there. It'll come on. If you leave it on, it's on when the radio's on. Now we're going to run our Bluetooth in. Bring our phone up, make sure we're on settings. You can hold this button down. She's going to help you pair it up or turn the volume up twice. Bluetooth ready to pair. Showed up on the phone. All you got to do is tap on. She'll tell you when it's done. Pairing completed. Bluetooth connected. And you notice every time you go to phone, that little light turns blue. All right, we're going to do a voice command. We're going to use the mic. And you don't have to do a voice command. You can actually just go to music and hit play. It'll change over. But it's designed so you don't have this in your hand while you're driving. You can hold this down again as you see we're lit up, or you can turn it up twice. Depends on where you put this, which one you want to use. Play music. I'm gonna have me real big time. There's plenty of things. For this boy find a pretty girl who's dressed up fine. And there's a whole lot of pride in the smile I can hide. Do it that way so we can see it all right. Nice, so if you want to change your song, right your own music, put that away. You don't need to see that. Yeah, Rotate your music one time, go up, twice to back up or repeat. You can do it with your turning dial. 
Back. You can even do it with the push button as long as that needle moves. So, phone call comes in. You sh she'll come on there and say, incoming call. All you do is turn your needle up once to answer your call and talk. Or press this one time to answer and talk. When you're done, you can just let the phone hang up by itself it'll go back to doing whatever you had the radio doing if you want to end the call twice here down on the needle that'll end the call stop music put it pause right back to radio now what we're going to do is a little test we turn it off we do this every time that way it'll take multiple devices that'll always pick number one. So if you're the one that wants to hear everything and it'll give you the uh, the same sound if you get a text, it'll give you this amber alerts, whatever you want to do. But when you, after you do the pair up, we want to make sure when you get in your car and you got your phone with you, when you turn it on, it pairs up. And that's what we're doing. Radio. Bluetooth connected. Now we're connected up. That's what we want. Now we're going to do the USB. You'll get one of these with a video on it and some music. Plug it in, go straight to it. You can hide this thing. Because you can operate it all right here, so there ain't no need of you having to see it. The only time you got to take it out if you want to charge your phone. Same way operating this as you did your phone. Twice. Twice to back up and repeat. Up. Down. Up. Down. Now, if you got this thing hid, there's two ways you can just put it in pause and go back to radio. We went up on volume for Bluetooth. Let's go down twice. One, two. Put it in pause, right back to radio. You can do that by holding this one second. I'm going to do it both ways. Because we're checking it out. They're going to pick this thing up tomorrow. Down twice. Right back to that. Depends on how long it's down, whether it goes back to the same song or not. One second. Pause, right back to radio. Once you get used to working, it takes a while to figure out what you're doing, but it comes to you natural. One second, right back to it. Back to pause, back to radio. A little light's gonna blink a couple times, cycle right back to it. Now we're back on radio. Voice command. FM 89.5. Scanning. One, two, three, four. Scanning for stations. You can actually, I've done these. I put them in cigarette lighters or right underneath the lip of the dash so you know where it's at. When you find a station you like, one, two, three. Holding station hold. She'll hold it for you. That just turned five. No, that's not my son, but that's my friend's kid who I've door and I we drive where we get our that's your original 1965 in very good shape am radio 65 galaxy appreciate you let me do it for you thank you